Okay, so the first costume I'm going to talk about is this one up here. Oh, can I even get it down? This costume here. So I'll add some uh, finished photos at the end, just so you can see how it comes together. Um, so I had this beautiful fabric um, in my drawer for years and was desperate to do something um, with it. I took it on tour um, for the 2019 Australian Burlesque Festival where I emceed. Um, my mother actually made this costume for me, which was very nice. So uh, just pencil skirt taken directly off a pencil skirt that fit me perfectly. Just used um, an existing skirt as a pattern. Um, it's quite, it's not, um, it's not couture, but you can lay your, lay a good fitting garment flat um, and uh, cut the panels out with, um, use it as a template to cut panels out. Don't forget to add your seam allowance. So thanks mum, she made this beautiful split at the back, pencil skirt, just a classic high waist, um, high waist skirt here. She made, made this beautiful corset for me. So, steel boned corset. And what I wanted to show to you is the rhinestone detail. So you can see the placement of the lace accentuates my waist and highlights the bust area. So we'll have a closer look. And what I've done is I've accentuated the detail of the lace here. Um, and opening up that beautiful shape on the bust. So I used jet black rhinestones in, I've got SS30s, where my pinky is. Is that SS30s? No, SS20s. And then 16s here for a bit of variation. And then I used these sew on teardrop shape stones in an AB Siam. So AB Siam flashes blue. So see how beautiful that is. I love using special effects um, stones because they just look really juicy. So no sewing for me. Uh, they do have two little drilled in holes on them for sewing on. Um, I just used my E6000 and slammed those babies on in a hurry. Again, accentuating my shape. I used, uh, I added these curved sections onto the hips. This is the, let me show you the original applique. So this is the applique that I got. It is a, um, it's actually a collar applique, but once I, I bought quite a few, chopped them up, had a play with them. And I kind of, it for me, it almost started to have a bit of an art deco uh, shape to it. This, particularly this little bit here. So once I, so once we cut them up and played around with them, um, we were able to create this beautiful shape. So you can see that it follows all the way around from the back. Here's, let me hold it up. And uh, so that on the, so that all my curves are accentuated and a nice small waist. So when it comes to jet crystals, um, uh, obviously, uh, there's a limitation on what Swarovski is available in the market now um, that they've stopped selling their crystals. Um, but I always said when it came to jet, it, it doesn't matter the quality. Um, a, a clear rhinestone, uh, the light falls into the rhinestone and is uh, refracted out. That's why it's so sparkly. And Swarovski is really sparkly because it's really refined glass. It's a technique and the uh, of really refined glass, but also how the stone is cut. The stones are cut to um, emulate um, real gemstones and they have uh, that foil on the back. So the light enters in and then refracts out. But because a jet, um, jet is like a solid, the a solid glass stone, the light does not enter it. So the light only reflects it. So when clients, uh, when people ask me, you know, Swarovski or um, uh, just a glass rhinestone, um, when it comes to jet, it, you're just reflecting the light. I don't believe that there's any reason to buy the premium brand. Um, save those dollars for 
um, your colors. What else can I tell you? I think that's it. Yeah, so this was just a an M uh, not for stripping this one. It says an MC outfit, uh, just one of my many outfits to look fabulous on stage, mixing it up, but certainly um, could be a burlesque outfit uh, should the occasion arise. So I'll add some photos. Uh, you'll see how it looks on stage. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can inspire you to take some lace, cut it up, work with the shapes, create something completely new out of it. And then we're just embellishing to accentuate the beautiful details of the lace. And then adding a contrast color, that's Siam AB. That beautiful red and blue is almost a, a purple, um, a, a purpley color. And that's a great contrast for this chartreuse silk. Happy rhinestoning.